Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 5 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. And as always, like and comment. Let me know how I'm doing in the uh, comments below. And subscribe for more videos. So we are just taking a look here at our new passenger rail line. That we put in at the end of the last video. And uh, it's running really well. It's starting, we're starting to get good capacity numbers. Uh, we got 256 wanting to head to Newport. 117 wanting to head up to Boston. 185 from Boston heading down south. And then the the New Haven stop is the, I would say not the, yeah, the, the worst performer, I guess we could say. So a couple things with this line. After I uh, went back and kind of was editing this video, I really took a look at what I did here at this station, this New Haven station. And I, I can't figure out if I like what I've done up here with this switch. Having the passenger rail go into this side, like if that's the case, what is the point of this uh, pass through? I just, I don't know. I don't know if I like what I've done here. So I'm I'm thinking that I might uh, go back and actually change it. Um, yeah, so let's do that. We're gonna, we're gonna change this out. We're gonna go back to having cargo on these sides and then we'll have the passenger um, stop on the outside like we had before. So let's go ahead and delete out some of these tracks. And now we need to come in here with a cargo platform back on this side. And now we need some buildings in here. So, so we can't, we can fit the little cargo platform. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit. Yeah, we can fit some passenger buildings. I would like to be able to fit some larger passenger buildings, but I just, I don't think we're going to be able to with uh, how constrained these roads are. So let's just add in a little loading dock down here. We'll have that. And then I'm actually going to leave this other uh, cargo platform here, mainly because I don't want to put the passenger platform and the cargo platform directly adjacent to one another, purely for aesthetic reasons. And then we'll come in here with some electrified high-speed track for that train line. And then I'll probably go ahead and just add a passenger platform again on the other side. We'll add in some stairs so they can get out there. And some covers. Okay. So now, if we come back into these lines, we have, let's go ahead and reconnect these quickly. So if we back these out, this no longer needs to do this. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. And then we can get rid of this cross and move it further down here. So if we come in here, we can reconnect this merge. And then we can connect these tracks back in like that. And then for now, just so that we can let the game run again, I'm going to go ahead and put that cross in. I want those to be one way signals. So we'll fix that really quick. One way. Yes. And now I need to take this and at the New Haven stop. Let's see if we just delete this New Haven out altogether and then add it back in. Perfect. And we do 60 seconds. So now we should be able to let this run and this should all work. But now we have a cargo platform not being used and an extra cargo platform out here. 
So one thing that we could do is we could have the timber train drop off at platform one. That way we're utilizing all of our cargo platforms now in this station. It also looks like we could get a bit more capacity on here. Yeah, we definitely could. So let's work on this. I'll pause this really quick so we can try and get some more cargo on here before this train gets out of here. So maybe if we bring it up to 108. Let's see if it takes it all. It does, and now that will head back out. Okay. So now that we've got that uh, fixed, I would say, I think that's going to be a much cleaner line. Let's go ahead, excuse me, let's go ahead and set up some bus routes here for New Haven. New Haven is a sprawling mess of a city. So I think what we're going to do is fix some of these roads. So if we take these out, maybe bend a street in there, and we can use four lane bus lanes on this road, coming down here and then maybe running right here into the center of town. So let's see what we can get away with for bus stops there. So we got one there. Probably want another set of stops here. Honestly, might want to come down to this road and then use this as our higher capacity road for the buses. So let's, let's do this. Let's take the bus lanes off of this road and let's put them on this road like that I'm just gonna come in here really quick and just smooth out some of this terrain here give them a bit more space Now we have some bus we have some bus lanes here, so we should be able to put some stops on. So where does this this one catches to about this red house? So maybe if we put one down here. And now they're coming back here. This stop grabs maybe out to this house. And then this stop covers the majority. I might put another set just right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set up this line. Got a lot of stops here, so... Nope, not that one. I want to grab the bus stop. Like that. And now I'm going to want some waypoints because I want them to keep using these bus routes. And then I probably want them to hop up onto this road. So let's put some waypoints there as well as upgrade this. And we're colliding with those waypoints, I think. So now if we come in here after Taylor hit this waypoint and then after Johnson hit this waypoint and why don't we make this a red color really stands out and now this is going to be our bus route and it's in New Haven and this is the counterclockwise bus route and now we're just gonna run it back Just tracing back the way that we came. We'll also make this one red. And now this will be our New Haven clockwise. 
And now we just need to get some buses on there. So I might... I might go with one on each line. So this will be clockwise and then this will be counterclockwise. Great, so now we got some buses on there and they are going to uh, run around and, you know, kind of do their thing. Nice. So that should help us get more passengers up here to this stop. Just wanted to make sure our train is still moving, it is coming into the station here where we have a ton of passengers I'll be interested to see if this clears any yeah so it didn't look like anybody oh wow and these these people actually want to go down to New Haven interesting I might want to think about getting another train on there but for now we're going to look <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to look into tying Stamford in to this uh, rail line. And truthfully, I might do that a different way. I might actually take this rail line and take it onto this track and bring it up here to Poughkeepsie for now. So we've got our line on this side of the track. We're going to run it down here. We're going to need to negotiate our way somehow around this uh, refinery. And then similarly around this. And then once we get up here, we're kind of in the clear for a while. So let's kind of think about how we want to do that. So one thought that I had is we have some elevation here that we could actually use to our advantage. We could jump across here with a bridge, and then we'd be on the correct side. So if I came in here with a track... I'm just trying to see if I can get a track to jump this. So I can, but that, that would be a ridiculous curve to connect up there. So what if I brought a track out like this, just as like a placeholder, and then tried to jump to the other side? It is doable. Let's see if we put, uh, I think we've been using that blue bridge. Like that. We could make it, we could do it. That wouldn't be too terrible of a bridge, honestly. And I could clean that slope up after the fact. So let's try and line this up. And now I'm gonna delete some of this out so that I can improve that slope and that curve, make it a little bit smoother. So, if I take, let's actually, let's double this, uh, okay, and we're colliding with that road. So I can get rid of this, uh, terrain view now for a second. Let's go ahead and double up this track. All the way up to there, and now I'll take the outside track, bring it down here, connect it up, and then connect that up there. So now that's a much smoother slope, we have a nice bridge, brings us down here, and now all we have to do is fix this road. So if I come down in here to our 
industrial road. And now we'll just come in here and connect that up. And now that's connected. Again, not really necessary. It's just going out to some industries, but I think it works well for the uh, for the continuity, let's say. So now, if I want to get this to curve in here, that will maintain a hundred. That will maintain top speed, and then that this will allow us to cross over. Perfect, that's gonna work really well. So now we'll bring this back, connect that up. And now we have our track going generally in the right direction. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put in some high speed track here for our pass through. Let's see if we can get a nice connection here. So we slow down a little bit on this on this curve, but it's it's not the end of the world. And now let's see if I bring a track up here. And now we'll just continue to walk this track down. Let's see if we can squeeze through here. And it doesn't like that uh, really short intersection here, so fix that up just a little bit so let's see if I connect that up and then maybe curve this down here and then we'll come in here and just clean up this farmland right here with the wrong grass Perfect, okay, so now we should be able to sneak this through here. Nice, okay, so now where is this station gonna be? Do I foresee a rail? this rail line running up into Lee? Probably not, the terrain is just super aggressive. Um, so I think we'll probably put a terminus station in here. And just trying to think of where we would want it to be. Probably want it to be angled a little bit. So why don't we bring this up and then angle that over. And then we'll go ahead and put in our passenger terminus station. Right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do two platforms for now. Um, it's possible that we could have a direct line running down here to Stamford, but I, I'm not sure at this point. Oh man, and the terrain. Completely forgot to look at the terrain on this one. Let's bring this track down here a little bit further. That terrain is really aggressive, which makes me think that I might adjust this a little bit. So 
So let's see how that looks. It's a little bit better. So if we come in here now with this platform, this should line up really well. We'll grab our high speed track. Oh man, look at how close that is. And we'll connect that in there. Okay, so let's get out of our terrain view now. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna upgrade this to high speed track. Not super necessary, but We'll do it anyway, and then let's go ahead and put a cross in here. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Okay, and now let's signal this up. So now we, we want auto signal on. Apparently, apparently it's not going to work. There we go. And that will send us all the way down to this station. And then that will send us all the way back. Not quite to the end, so we'll add on another one. And now up here at this station, we can probably get away with that. Might sneak these just a little bit closer. And now let's come in here and delete the wrong signals that we put in by mistake. And now let's auto signal this again. So that will send us all the way down to here, which is not bad actually. And then that'll take us all the way back to that cross. Okay, and what this allows us to do now is take this Boston to New Haven. And we're going to rename it Boston to uh, Poughkeepsie. Man, that's a, that's a tough one to spell. And after New Haven, come up here to Poughkeepsie and then go back to New Haven. And now this is a super long line running completely across the map, and I think it's going to need another train on it. Um, probably, almost certainly. So where is this train? Nope, that's the wrong one. Where is this train? So it's coming back right now. So let's see if I get another one on there. See how it's doing financially. Can I grab the train? Uh, not bad. It has like some years where it does fantastic and then other years it's mostly like breaking even. And this decided to go in the same direction. So I'm gonna try and flip it. And that did not work. So let's see if I can flip. I'm going to pause this one. And I'm going to send this one back. Just trying to get these to spread out a little bit. This is... New London is generally the center of these lines. So once this one catches up... I'll go ahead and start this guy. So why don't we start it right about now? And now this is good. Now they're kind of running opposite one another and we've got really good passenger coverage through here. So, now, there are, uh, there's something else that I was thinking about doing with regards to this 
um, tools factory. Trucking the wood down here, it, it works, don't get me wrong. It's just not uh, ideal. So what I was thinking is if we put in a terminus cargo platform, put it in right about there, we should be able to sneak a rail line through here. Let me see if I can if I can make this work. So I want to tie into there. Uh, this is actually going to need a second platform to pick up the tools that are going to go up to wherever they're going. I forget where it is right now. New uh, New London. And New Haven, I think it is. So let's connect those in. And now similarly, I want to take this out and connect it in over here. Like that. So let's pause this. I need to redo some signals here. So let's go ahead and put our one-way signals here, here, could probably get away with one in the center, we'll delete those out. That is right after the merge, so I could probably get away with another set. Right about here. Set there, and then we'll need a cross in here. I'm gonna try and make it short so I can get another set of signals in. Nice, okay. So now, let's come in here. So we have the New Haven to New London tools. And I don't want these to pick up at New Haven. I want them to pick up here for the tools. So we're gonna say load, get a full load and wait six minutes maybe. And now we need the timber drop off and these aren't gonna drop off at New Haven. They're gonna drop off right down here and they're gonna use platform one. And what that should do is free up a lot of this platform uh, for future things. Um, this also means that this timber tools line does not need to exist. So if we come in here, we can sell all of these vehicles and then delete this line altogether. We can shift this to platform one we can come in here and actually delete off this extra platform. And then we can come up here, make sure our line is correct, it is. And we can delete off that extra platform as well. So now, what is this? This is the timber train and this should come right in here. And this is still recognizing New London, which is great. It's gonna put the tools right on this platform so we don't need to truck them. And this timber train now should just cut right across here onto this electrified track. That was an accident. Doesn't need to be electrified. There we go. And now it dropped off the timber. Interestingly enough, it went into this platform. I don't know why. And now the, where's the tools train at? The tools train. Okay. 
Okay, so what's the issue here now? This tools train is for some reason at New London East. This is where I wanted to wait for a full load. Somehow this tools train got a little messed up, so let's just see. So they're going to pick up at New Haven Branch, wait for a full load, and then they're going to head up to New London East where they'll drop off the tools. And then we have this route, which has vehicles on it, that's going to deliver them here. Interesting. I don't know. We'll have to keep our eye on that. But I just think that this will work a little bit better. It'll get the timber directly down here to this tools uh, the tools mill, tools factory, and this left a ton of tools on here, so I'm thinking I'm gonna see if we can make this any longer. We can, we can bring it up to 192, so let's go ahead and do that. Truthfully, I might actually just, that's not what I wanted. I might honestly replace this with a new diesel train. Max length. We'll have to see if that works. It might not. It might be too long. 238 meters for a terminus 240 meter platform. I don't remember the actual number. Uh, but this might get stuck here in this platform. Nope, it worked. Okay. But that's a faster train. It's got better capacity. Um, and it should run really well. Man, that's actually really long. Okay, so now this train is heading out. And it's going to head down to uh, New London and see what it can do. Okay. So. Moving on to uh, some other stuff that I was hoping to do today. One of those things is I would like to get a passenger rail line heading down the coast here to Falmouth. So let's see how we can do that. I think we can manage to if we connect these up with bus lanes we'll delete that off looking at our terrain can we fit a passenger terminus passenger station right here on the corner it's kind of awkward so I might do what we did before, which is kind of angle this road. I'm just gonna drag it out a little bit, just so I have enough space to uh, add that on. And now we'll come in here with a two platform station, put it right there. Because I really, actually, I really want this to run up this coastline. I think that's going to look really nice. It's going to run right into Boston. So we'll hop up here. We'll have a little bit of a tunnel here. Curve this around to here. Have an interesting road crossing. 
Let's see if I, uh, if I clean that up with a little bit of terraforming, that might help it a little bit. Yeah, it's not horrible. Let's go back into our terrain view here. Just trying to see where it wants to go straight. Right there. And I think we'll go with, let's see, does that allow 186? It does. How does it look? Looks pretty good. And now, looking at our terrain here, I think I will cut. Start cutting to the left a little bit. Maybe have a, a bit of a long tunnel here. Yeah, and then I want to tie back into that line. So we'll cut across there. Let's fix this road a little bit. Like that. Go back to our terrain. Cut across this road. Come up this hill. It's actually quite a hill. We'll go with it. We'll go with the bridge. But I actually really want to tie that in here. Okay, so now that we've got this, man, that's a bridge. It's a way bigger bridge than I thought it was. So let's just try and redo that really quick. So if we back that out, come back out to there. So if I take this down here and I want to tie that in, I understand we're going to get a big bridge. Back that out a couple more. back this out let's see maybe the better thing to do would be to punch through although we're gonna get a huge cut now just trying to see where we can make this connection so we'll be we'll have to slow down here for this curve okay though okay so now let's see where our signals are so we have signals there and there that's probably okay so now we'll run this parallel track back along the same way that we came we've got our tunnel here up across this bridge and then we're gonna hug the coastline on this track here we got another tunnel here and 
we'll take it right into this platform. Put a cross on, and now let's come in here and change these tracks. The whole thing is electric. Great. And that track is now established. And we can go ahead and set up our line from Boston down here to Falmouth. And why don't we make this a dark blue? Just making sure that that doesn't interfere with anything. It doesn't. And I want these guys to wait for 60 seconds at each station before they leave. And this will be our Boston to Falmouth line. And now we just need to get a siding in here for this set of track. So why don't I add it in like right here. Double switch. And this does not need to be high speed track. This can just be regular track. Bring it out just a little bit further and then we'll go ahead and get a depot on here. Now we need to signal this track. So if we come up here, we're gonna want auto signal. And that sent that back, which is great. And that should take us all the way back here. And that lined up practically perfect with our cross. And that will bring us all the way down here. And now we'll just need a non uh, one way signal right here. And then we'll need our siding track right here. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and get a train on here. So for electric, we've got this uh, EP2. It's $2 million a year, goes 75. We've got the PRR, GG1, 2.2 million, goes 99. And then the New Haven EP5, we also have this Alco PA diesel it costs half as much. So why don't we go with that? And let's see, this, this train goes 117. So let's see what we can get for passenger cars. The All American Gold, uh, Golden Sand goes 112. The Streamline Coach New Mexico's is what we have on the other line. They go 93. Uh, the Heavyweight Parlor goes 112. These cost the same, and they have the same passenger capacity. So, why don't we get maybe four of them? And we'll put these on the Boston to Falmouth route. Now, the interesting thing is this does not does not need to be electric, so we're gonna do our favorite thing and uh, go ahead and de-electrify a lot of this track, because it just doesn't need it. It does need to be high speed. It doesn't need to be electric though, because we have a diesel train on it. Luckily, this is just one really long stretch though, so it's pretty easy to de-electrify. And remember uh, earlier in this series when I figured out that you could build tracks uh, that were not electrified and total game changer. So if we come down here, Let's take a look at this uh, this train here. This train looks really good. This actually looks just like the commuter rail line um, that runs throughout New England. Uh, there, there is actually a commuter rail line that runs from Boston down to Falmouth. Um, and it is on a train that looks incredibly similar to this one, which is really cool. 
And I think, uh, as long as this is, yeah, this is in catchment, but we need to work out this uh, bus. So let's pause really quick and let's kind of think about the road layout here. So they could come down here. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna add bus lanes down here, down here, like that. And then I'm gonna take the bus lanes off and just continue the high capacity down there. That way we can keep this stop that's already there while also adding in a few more. So we got a bus stop there. Might add a stop there. And then maybe one right here. And then we'll keep this stop as well. And we're going to actually change where the Chatham to Falmouth. Chatham to Falmouth. Let's get rid of that. And I want you to stop there. But at 8th Street, let's stop at the other side. That way people in Chatham can make their way down here to... Uh, and actually the people in P-Town as well, they could change over at Chatham and then catch a bus down here to the Falmouth train station and then head on up to Boston. So now we're going to need some new lines here. So we're going to go this way around and we're going to need lots of waypoints. So we're going to need, looks like a set here and then a set here. So after fourth hit this waypoint, and then after Walnut, hit this waypoint. Let's make this a dark green so that it doesn't uh, conflict with any of the colors. It's a little bit easier to see. And now this is going to be a bus route, and it's going to be Falmouth. What is this, counterclockwise? Counterclockwise? And now we'll have one that goes this way, making sure we hit all the stops. And now this will be our clockwise. Uh, Falmouth, clockwise. And now we need to get some buses on here. I'll probably just get one on each. So counterclockwise and clockwise. Now, if we speed this up, those buses should come out. And our train should be coming in, and there's no one here waiting to take it up to Boston. But we are starting to get passengers on these bus lines. And now let's see if we come up here. Are we getting any passengers that want to go down to Falmouth? Not yet. Planes. We keep unlocking planes. We haven't done anything with them yet. Uh, I just remembered that. And I don't think... I don't think we're going to get to it. I mean, maybe... I was thinking maybe a Stamford... Stamford Airport. I just don't know. Maybe Stamford... To, like, the Providence area? Falmouth actually has a, a little airstrip in it, so that, that could be something. Oh, interesting. I have these regional airports. I completely forgot that I had this mod. Some of these are really interesting, like, like this one. It's kind of like an L-shaped little regional airport. It's much... Uh, there's a lot more going on on it than the uh, the standard little airport. It's much bigger. I don't think I could sneak this in without seriously annoying the, uh, the residents of the Falmouth area. But airports might be something that we have to get to in a future episode. Man, the 
passenger numbers at these stops are just huge. Which makes me think that we should probably improve the capacity of these trains. So let's edit these. And let's add another... Let's add one more car on there. And if we actually go into this line... Finances? Yeah, see, it's it's just not... It's not doing great, which is interesting because the capacity numbers are huge. Like, this has 72 people on it right now. It should make a ton of money when it gets here. I don't know, though. Maybe, uh, maybe I should break these up so that I have, you know, separate lines running in between each stop. I've done that in the past and it seemed to work really well. Um, but, you know, I think for the most part, these are, these are working pretty well. These passenger rail lines are just hemorrhaging money. Uh, the New Haven London tools. Where is this train? So I think this is our tools train. No, that's our coal train. This is our iron train. What is this one waiting for? Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that I had done that when I put that when I put that platform there. Screwed up my pass through. Okay, so let's uh, let's edit this. We're gonna rip out this track. Uh, and then we gotta rip out this platform as well. We gotta add in our passenger platforms here. So let's take that out. Let's take that out. Come in here and add in our passenger platforms. We'll add in our decorations quickly. Is really tight. And it looks like we back out all the way to there. Connect those up. And now we just need to add our signals back in. Added one way or non one ways by accident. So we'll add those back in. We've got signals there. Uh, the new London. Let's just take that out and add that back in. And I want these guys to wait for 60 seconds. And that fixed our pass through now. And just to, just for continuity, just to kind of give them a reason. Okay, and this is telling me that this, there's no electric path. Which is interesting. 
Because there should be. I really didn't... Uh... Oh man, we're having all sorts of problems. Electric, no. Okay, there we go. It was just confused, I guess. And now we have the pass through. Oh, the tools, tools train. That's what I, that's what I wanted to find. So here's our tools train running now. Yeah, and it's making tons of money. It had a couple issues in there. Uh, in the interim when I switch this over, but it seems to be working fine now. We have a ton of tools that want to be delivered, so let's just come in here. Let's take a look at this. I could probably get two more vehicles on there. And then I might be able to get a couple more boxcars on here. Maybe two more. To come down here and deliver some tools. going to pass right through. This train should start making money because these passenger numbers are huge. I think it might just be that that locomotive is so expensive to run. But okay, guys, I think this is going to wrap up this episode. Um, actually, before we go, let's see. Let's see if we got passengers up here. We do 42 waiting to go up to Boston. We got a train with 43 coming back. And we've already got a small crew up here in Boston waiting to go, which is awesome. That's great to see. But anyway, all right. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I'm having a lot of fun making it. Uh, once again, I'm going to be out of town for about three weeks for work. Uh, we leave on Wednesday, I want to say. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys stick around. Uh, again, if you're new to the series, lucky for you, I'll be out of town and you've got tons of other videos to watch if you just go check them out on my channel. Um, but if you're one of the people that's been around for a while, uh, I do apologize. I will get right back to the videos as soon as I get back. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll try and get one more out before I before I leave if I can. Uh, but if not, I will see you guys uh, when I see you. So, as always, like and comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.